Hey YouTube, today I'm back with something a little bit different on my workbench. Uh, it's not music related gear. This is an HP ProBook 450 G4. This is my work laptop for my day job. And as you can see, the display is effed. So I've been tasked with replacing the display on my laptop. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I've searched on YouTube for videos on how to do this. I wasn't able to find any videos that show this specific variant of this laptop. My bezel goes over the hinges of the lid, which is unlike what I saw in the other videos on YouTube. First thing you want to do is make sure that you power down your laptop. It's probably a good idea anytime you're working on electronics to power it off and remove any power sources. So make sure it's not plugged into the power supply and flip it over and remove the battery. To do that, you want to slide both of these tabs here inward. So that one goes in, you see the orange, it's unlocked. This one is a little bit more difficult. You push it in a little harder and the battery pops out. So place that somewhere off to the side where it's not gonna get in your way and flip the laptop back over front ways. Open up your laptop lid and grab a credit card or in my case, a Wawa gift card. So you're gonna take this card and you're going to slip it under the bezel so right where the bezel meets the screen, you're going to slip that card under the bezel there. Now the bezel snaps to the lid. So what you're trying to do is very gently and carefully pry those snaps loose. You can hear them cracking there. You don't want to break them, you just want to pry them loose. I've seen in several other YouTubers' videos that their bezels were glued on. Mine is not glued on, it's just snapped into place. We have screws holding this bezel in place. So once you get the top and sides loose, don't try to force the bottom because you will rip the plastic like I did. These screws are covered by little plastic stickers. You can use a small flathead screwdriver or your fingernail to just pry them loose like I'm doing here. You're gonna want a little Phillips head screwdriver and you're going to undo these little Phillips head screws. Once those two screws are free, you can take your Wawa gift card and pry the bottom off just like you got the top off. Now there are four more Phillips head screws that need to come out. They are here, 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 and here. So go ahead and remove these guys. Make sure you have a cup or something handy that you can use to hold your screws so they don't roll away on you. All right, so we've got those four screws out. Our display is free. Take a clean cloth. I'm gonna lie this down across my keyboard. So now that we've got this screen free and face down, we have to remove the connection that connects the display to the rest of the computer. The way this connector is attached is first of all, you have a sticker over it. So we're gonna pry this sticker loose. If you have long fingernails, you can just get your fingernails under there and pull it up. And if you don't, you can use your little tweaker screwdriver. And pull the sticker back. It doesn't have to come off the connector, just enough that you can access the actual connection here. Then you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver, a tweaker, something like that, or fingernails if you got them. This little metal bit is a retainer that goes all the way around the plug. You have to get under that and very gently rock it upward to release it. Now the connector is unsecured and you can remove it easily without breaking it. So just very gently pull it out. As we always have with all of our other parts, we're gonna take this screen off and we're gonna put it off to the side where it's not gonna be in our way and we're not gonna damage it. Now we're gonna install our new display. Basically we're gonna do everything we just did backward. We're going to take our display, we're going to put it face down on our soft clean cloth. We're going to take our connector and plug it in. At risk of being a little too thorough, I'm going to show you exactly how to reconnect this connector. So you're going to slide it flat into the receptacle. It's going to make a soft click. And then this retainer that we pried off before, we're going to place back on. And it should snap into place the gentle clicking noise. 
and then we'll reapply this sticker because it was there before so it should go back home. We're going to now put the screen back into place or into place for the first time seeing as this is a new screen. You want to make sure that this wire down here that connects to the screen that's actually what connects to the connector we just fussed with. You want to make sure that lies in the little track there. And we're going to get our little screws. There are two different size screws that we're dealing with. We have the little itty bitty ones, those go to the screen. And the very slightly less itty bitty ones, those go to the bezel. We're going to put these little tiny itty bitty Phillips head screws back where they came from. Once those screws are back in, I'm going to remove this cover from the replacement display. You take off this cover and discard it. And now it's time to replace the bezel. Now, remember these slightly less itty bitty screws? Those are gonna go back through the bezel. And these little holes. So you're just gonna line up the bezel with those holes and tighten these screws back in. That's gonna hold it in the correct position while you snap everything back together. And now we can snap everybody back into place. And what we're doing here is just snapping these guys in place. Just very gently pressing on the very edges because that's where those snap buckles live. And now we can replace these little sticky dots that covered the screws. Now that the screen is in, we can close the laptop, flip it back over, reinstall our battery. It's got these little hooks. I don't know if that'll focus on there. There we go. These little hooks there. You've got to got them into the back lip and then push it downward towards the front of the computer. It's in there. And now, just like before, you want to do the opposite, you want to make sure that these tabs are both pushed outward to lock the battery in place. So let's open this up and see how I did. And it works! So that's how you replace your laptop screen on this HP ProBook 450 G4. I got the replacement screen that I used in this video from LaptopScreen.com. I definitely recommend you check them out. It was really reasonably priced, really easy to find what I needed, and they seem to have like everything in terms of replacement laptop screens. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments if it has, if you used this video and you were successfully able to replace your laptop screen. I love getting that kind of feedback that my video has actually helped someone in the real world. It makes me feel like these are worth doing. All right, take it easy.